Greetings from the road. This is Freighter Jim. We're in one of many garages that Brian has. Here's his 1911 Model T. He's going to tell us about it. So how long have you had this one, Brian? I've owned that about seven, eight years. Okay. It was pretty much a pile of parts when I bought it. Really? So did you do the restoration on I this? Did, uh, most wow. Of, most of the restoration. I had the upholstery done. I had the motor rebuilt. Uh, I do all my own paint work. All okay. My own assembly. Who did your motor for you? A uh, guy down in Ohio did it. Okay. Joe Bell. It's a Joe Bell did, motor job. Who did your upholstery? A guy out uh, in Homer, Michigan. Okay. Uh, larger upholstery. Okay. And he did all the upholstery work on it. Now, did you do the rear end? The rear end, I had somebody I know rebuild the rear end. Okay. It has a six rear, rear end in it, which is correct for the car. All right. The car's a mid year. 1911 and there are a lot of changes in 1911 and so I targeted the kind of the two-week period in the mid-year that this car was built and restored it to that time period. Okay so did you have like the casting number on the engine do you think it was I have, original? I have the, the number I have the okay. original build seat that, oh, that I got so the, the engine came with this particular car? Yes. Okay, and so you, you rebuilt it for that mid-year period? Correct. Okay. And I have the original... And building. you've had this on tour? I had this at Greenfield Village uh, about three or four weeks ago. Oh, were you there for Old Car old Festival? Old Car Festival. So you folks that were Old Car Festival, you may have seen this car tooling around. Did you go in the uh, light parade? The ju no, I didn't, but I had it in judging. Okay, how did it do? I, I took first place in my class. So your class was? The 1912 period. Wow. Now, was that for all models or just Model all T? All models. So you took first place in the 1909 to 1912. Correct. Wow. Are you a member of MTFCI by chance? Yes, I am. Have you ever put this or thought of putting it up for an award? I had it entered in Steinask. Right, that's what I'm thinking. I did very well in the judging. Good. But I did not do quite well enough. Another car beat me. Oh, okay. Now, when was this? This was last July. Okay. Do you think you're going to go... down in Hamilton, Ohio. Are, are you going to go through that painful experience again? I do may, you think? because the things that I need to change are just minor things which are right. doable. Right. So I'm considering maybe next year or the year after entering it again. Wow. And, and go a second time. So now you just went on a tour. What what did you take on the tour you were just on? I took my model A Ford. Okay. But the that tour, you've had the since you were sixteen. Yes. Yeah. The tour that I went on is for a Durant club that I belong to. Okay. I have a nineteen twenty five star which is in pieces, and it's over here in the garage. Okay, uh, and that's a, a restoration project that's, waiting that's to be done. My, that's hopefully my next restoration project. Okay. and uh, But I, I didn't have a Durant product to take, so I took my Model A, and it uh, it fit in okay with the other cars. So if you guys were at Old Car Festival, you may have seen this car, you may have met Brian. Who knows what you're going to run into when you drop off a Model T. That's it for me, everybody. Have a great weekend. I'm headed next to Minneapolis, Minnesota to pick up a 1916 Model T Coupe Remember, drive safe, arrive alive.